Hi, Greg Perry, the Historic Preservationist. Welcome to the Conservation Studio. Uh, just take a look at uh, something recent that's come in. This is an Egyptian chest. The client swears by it, tells me it's from the late 18th or early 19th century. Don't quite believe them, um, but the client knows best sometimes, and we all know how that is. Uh, inlaid with bone, a uh, little bit of ivory, and they did buy it in Egypt. They bought it at a flea market in Egypt. Um, somewhere in the four to five hundred dollar range to ship it back was two grand and uh, unfortunately we, we kind of had done a lot of the restoration a lot of the pieces were missing so I'm doing a, a typical restoration like you do an oil painting on something like this it doesn't have great value as I'm sure all you uh, individuals up on antiquity know um, but nevertheless it gets filled with a you know a type of uh, conservation material and bring it up to level, abrade it down, and then come back and just doing a lot of in-painting. And uh, typically doing a lot of in-painting with acrylics and also more in instead of a heavy pigmented, um, I'm using, uh, using shellac here, I'm using a garnet shellac and uh, my little palette here, you can make a palette out of anything, and some uh, some dry stains. So you get a little bit of dry stain and mix it up and and uh, you know, don't make sure you don't put it full full force, and you can weed it out and get it down to the color you need. You know, so doing a little highlighting and a little, but this piece is in such bad shape; it's undergone probably three or four restorations as I see it. And remember, this stuff is drying out. You have to dip back into your shellac and rehydrate, string it out a little bit, reduce your color to match the color, a little bit here and there. So. Uh, uh, and something like this can really, it's almost like a nightmare. There's, there's so many little details and you can see where the timber, it's made out of a deciduous wood. Um, the timber has cracked all along here and, and caused a fracturing and falling out of all many of the pieces. So, um, and went straight across, but putting back as best we can for the client, particularly as everyone knows, it's what the client wants to pay. So uh, many times uh, we have clients which are very parsimonious today. Um, you know, they may like a little bit of antiquity. They don't really understand what antiquity is. To me, this is a little bit, but uh, not a serious piece. And uh, put together uh, probably for the Egyptian, quote, American market. These kind of pieces were, were put together in the back alley, probably using, who knows, child labor, um, older people just to sell in the flea markets. And I got a feeling this client, this couple bought this and we got really sucked up in this and they thought they had a real fine. But, and again, it's not a bad when you get back five, 10 feet and you look at it and you come into a room, you put a nice, uh, you know, halogen light on it, you can, or LED light today, get very dazzled by this and say, absolutely phenomenal. No working lock. So this was just a uh, kind of a glitzy, glammy type uh, decorative object. And I'll come over here, we can see on the end, the end's uh, not in too bad a shape, uh, you know, did a lot of exterior paint work, um, it, it's, it's suffered, again, the hand of multiple bad restorers, two, three at times, but I think we got it back in a pretty good place now. So uh, um, front and two sides are done, I'm gonna move to the top and the inside tomorrow, maybe a little bit of work on the back. So uh, we'll finish this guy up. So Greg Perry, the Historic Preservationist, signing off. Thanks for listening.